morning. The body beat down here. Hump day, Wednesday morning. Get my morning walk in. I want this to be a short video because those are the only videos that actually get views, it seems like. But it's not going to be a short video. This is going to get lost in the millions and millions of videos online. But I want to talk about a couple things, uh, clear up a couple things, give my views and opinions on a couple things. And it revolves around working out. It revolves around ego lifting, uh, cheat curl, you know, cheat reps. It revolves around different training styles. It revolves around uh, how we start our days. And I'm probably going to forget half of what I'm wanting to say. I've kind of already been talking about it to myself in my head. Yes, I talk to myself all the time. All right. For those of you out there that look at a lot of videos, not just mine, but other people's, and I see it on everyone's videos, uh, people commenting, you're ego lifting, you're cheat repping, you're this repping, you're that repping, you're not doing this right, you're not doing that right. Listen, we all have our own goals and our own our own ideas of our workouts and they're not gonna go alongside with your thoughts and opinions most times when you see guys taking 100 pound dumbbells 150 pound dumbbells 200 pound dumbbells and they're hitting four reps six reps 10 reps 20 reps those are not cheating those are not ego lifting. Those are called working sets. Those are, are ripping out big weights. Just because you can't do that doesn't mean that it's ego lifting or it's cheating or it's not right or you're, or you're doing this wrong or that wrong. Stop looking for excuses just because you can't do it and you don't have the mental capacity to do it. Ego lifting, in my terms, in my opinion, is when you're just doing something stupid. Like if I were to lay down under 500 pounds and try to bench press it without anyone there, that's stupid. That's ego lifting. And you can also just classify it as being plain stupid. That's what ego lifting is. Ego lifting is taking something that you know you can't do and just doing it and trying to do it and hurting yourself and possibly others around you. Stupidity goes along with ego lifting. You see these people doing these dumb gym fails on purpose just for views and attention in the gym and doing ignorant, stupid things. Okay? That's not just ego lifting. That's stupidity. So you need to stop classifying all these things together because they're in totally different uh, brackets. They're totally different things. People that are repping out heavy weights are not ego lifting. They're building muscle. They're working out. Just because they're going above and beyond what you're capable of doing doesn't mean that they are ego lifting or doing something incorrect. Next, this goes kind of along with it. PRs, PBs, personal best, personal goals, personal records, all that good stuff. When you're doing those, that is not an ego lift. That's not lifting beyond your means. That's not doing anything stupid. That's pushing your body to see what it can do from all of the normal everyday workouts that you've put it through. That's to see where you're at. A lot of you go to the gym and don't care about goals. You don't care about setting records for yourself and pushing your limits. A lot of you go in there and do the same old reps, the same old routine, the same old sets, the same old movements, the same old everything, time after time after time. And that's your goal, that's your workout. Other people are in there pushing the limits, doing the same kind of workouts that you're doing, and then some. 
because their and then sums is what's going to get them pushing their PRs to meeting their goals. There's differences, guys. There's going to the gym and doing the same thing day after day. And then there's going to the gym and doing the same thing day after day and then doing other stuff to better propel yourself into your sport and into what you're trying to accomplish. These are what PRs are for, to push your limits, to push your boundaries and see where you're at. Then you have people that like to comment on people say maybe like myself, you know, well, you don't look like you work out. You're fat. I'm not fat. I just don't have a flat stomach. I don't have abs. So by the fitness community standard, and not even the fitness community, but just the average Joe Schmo that pops in your video, if you don't have a flat stomach or abs, you're unworthy. You don't work out. You're not serious. You're not fit. You're not healthy. You're not living the lifestyle. I beg to differ. I woke up early this morning. And I, work, I wake up early most mornings. Way before my alarm. My alarm is set for 5.30. And I wake up to my alarm maybe once a month. When I wake up. If I wake up early enough, I'm getting on my bike and spinning for 30 minutes. When I wake up early enough, nine times out of 10, I'm going to go ahead and eat my first breakfast. And I call it my first breakfast because if I'm up that early, I'm going to eat breakfast again later. So my first breakfast, I'm already eating a bowl of my protein packed oats where I make my whole oats with my protein and possibly some powdered peanut butter, a banana, and a squirt of syrup. I may eat a yogurt with it. I may eat something else with it. This morning I had probably six ounces of steak left over from last night and a yogurt for my first breakfast because I woke up early. And then when I get done, with my walk and my spin, I'm gonna go have a second breakfast, which will consist of probably three whole eggs, three egg, egg whites, and probably a air dry, air fried uh, cut up potato. Something along those lines. I've already done more physically and uh, nutritionally within the first two or three hours of being awake than most of you will do all week long and you're sitting back judging people like me the countless people out there that don't have abs and super flat beautiful stomachs some of us just don't have them we're not gonna have them you're sitting back and judging people because they're not quote unquote the ideal look of health and fitness that don't mean obese that means you just don't have a flat stomach um, if when I get cremated, when I die, when I get cremated, my belly is going to still be there. <laughs> I'm always going to have a belly. When I was in my 20s, my early 20s, and I was 170 pounds, I still had a little layer of fat on my belly. Some of us just hold weight. We just do it, no matter what we do. And I was thin. 170 pounds at 6'2 is thin. <laughs> so... People hold weight differently. And again, there's a difference in being fat, thick, juicy, plump, obese, etc., etc., whatever words you want to use, and just having some size to you. There's a difference. You see females that are the same way. Some of these CrossFit women are thick, beautiful women. Now, do they look like these runway models or do they look like... Uh, some of these fitness competitors that are on the stage uh, or bodybuilder women or no, they have some fat on their body and they're thicker because that's what they have. That's, that's their body. So this short video is a long video and it's going to get lost in the millions of other videos, but we have to touch on these subjects sometimes because people are just so 
clueless. They're stupid. They're ignorant. And they don't know what they're talking about. And the fitness community and those people that like to just pop in there and say stupid things, this is the most toxic group of people, the most toxic sport, the most toxic hobby, pastime, passion, whatever you want to call it, uh, I've ever seen in my life. And I've been online in different groups and different things since 1999. And I've never seen such a disgusting, vile, gross bunch of people in my life as I have uh, in the fitness community. And most of the times, the people that are being that way have zero, zero anything to back up their claims. Well, so-and-so said, okay, so-and-so, who's so-and-so, and do I care about so-and-so? <laughs> no. Nine times out of ten, I don't. And most of the time, those that comment, you're commenting on someone working out when, you know, on your profile, you have no videos, you have no anything, no about, no what you're about, no nothing. And if you do, half the time, you're you're a, a carpenter and you're commenting. You're a car salesman and you're commenting. You're a little kid playing Minecraft and you're commenting and you have zero clue about what you're talking about. Working out, as far as the actual working out process, lifting weights, picking something up and putting it down has no real rules. There's no real rules. So number one, you've got that wrong. You need to get that taken care of there's no real rules especially if you're not in competition and that's most of us out here most of us are in competition with ourselves i don't care about how joe schmo does it and i don't care how they do it in this uh, competitive league and on this stage and in this event i don't care and most of us don't we're doing it for ourselves And I'm not angry. It's just annoying. It's, it's just all the misinformation out there. And there's, uh, there's a very popular guy that I do follow somewhat, Michael Hearn. Very accomplished bodybuilder, model, I mean, spokesman, whatever you can say, entertainer. He's been in the business for 40 years. He's just a couple years older than me. He's probably about 53 or so. Still phenomenal shape. Still strong as an ox. Looks amazing. His whole life has been about fitness. His whole life. Since he was a teenager, he was winning competitions. What I like about that guy is he thinks out of the box. Now, I might not like the way he goes about some of his ex explanations, kind of talking down to people because of the trolls and the idiots out there that, you know, doubt everything. So, but I also don't, you know, I guess I don't blame him. So he he talks about working out uh, and, and doing things differently, thinking outside the box, not doing things by this rule or that rule. And I like that. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see in the community. There are no real rules to working out. Working out is like art. The arts. Music, photography, drawing, painting, all that stuff. Sculpting. There is no rules to any of that. There's a, there's a foundation that you kind of start with. But then the rest of it is open to interpretation and you follow your own heart, your own dreams, your own imagination. That's what working out is. Now, this short video has turned into a 15 minute video. It'll be seen by about 10 people. If those 10 people would spread this word, then maybe 10 million people will see it.
because a lot of people need to see it. Guys, have a good day. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown because we keep it real. We're for the real people. That's what my channel is for. Real, average, everyday people. I'm 51 years old next month. I've been working out less than two years and I'm pushing the boundaries of what you can accomplish naturally with hard work and dedication every day. All right, get up, get out, get red, do it to it. Share my videos. If you do anything, share them. Let's get the truth out there, guys. We'll see y'all later. Get up, get out, get ready to do it, do it!